Police investigating a shooting that left a teenager dead and five young people hurt in Goldsboro. People packed a city council meeting tonight demanding that something be done to stop the violence. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue was there tonight. It was standing room only inside the council chambers here at Goldsboro City Council for people calling for safer places for teens and kids in the city. Among them, the family of 15-year-old Joyona Pearsall. Joyona Pearsall may have only been 15 years old. She was like the life of all the youth. But her family says she left an impact on everyone she met. And if your hair ain't fixed, she might like, come in, honey. You need to sit in my chair. Jayana was shot and killed at a party Wednesday night on Leslie Street. Five other people were hurt. I don't care what your beef is with each other. Put it aside. Stand up and go and talk to somebody what, what's going on with you and another person. Tell somebody what's going on instead of getting a gun. Something has to change. Pearsall's family joined dozens of people at Goldsboro City Council Monday night. We've got to do better than this demanding, if not begging, for things to change. We want to hear more about what's going to be done to create atmospheres conducive for these youth. we got to get them out of that poverty and that mentality of the violence. Others ask for help solving Joanna's murder. Everybody knows somebody that knows something about it. It is time to speak up. Pearsall's family wants to see stronger penalties for unregistered guns and to hold people, including parents, more accountable. For the safety of our children. If your child stole your gun, you're going to be held accountable. You should put it under two locks and a key. Mayor David Ham also explained tonight that the property that the shooting happened at had multiple previous violations and gatherings. The city has demanded that that stop. Reporting in Goldsboro, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News.